Hey guys, it's me back with another review. Today we're going to be reviewing Bad Teacher, um, and it stars Cameron Diaz, Justin Timberlake, Lily Punch, and Jason Segel. Oh my god, you will not know how many times I tried that shit. Um, basically, um, the f Cameron Diaz is known for the sex tape and um, other women, which is nice, and Bad Teacher, that, that was the third one on the list. Um, and Justin Timberlake is a singer, so he's done a mirror, cry me a river, sex, sex back, and his um, acting is in time, uh, friends with benefits. Uh, Lily Punch, 40 year old version, that's all I know her from. And uh, the last one, J Jason Segel, uh, The Muppets, that's all I know her from. So already this film's uh, shown what it can do, I mean, too edgy. It has a child giving an apple to a a teacher, it has t the three stooges, and it has just a bunch of other teachers not being good at the job, and yeah, too edgy for us. Go! Settle down for a second. I know that you, uh... I know, you settle down. No, 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 I want everybody to settle down. Sandy, come on. So, no, none of that. So we hop on over to the second scene, which is a leaving party for the teachers. Teachers, I don't know why I said that so weirdly. And uh, it's got all the witty banter. Oh, oh, s I ain't afraid of no ghost. I, I ain't afraid of no ghost. And uh, also alcohol, and we got that, that, um, dyke bitch. I don't want to say that, but I did. And uh, we also got the, the main character. So yeah, go on. That's appropriate applause, yeah. I think. <laughs> Elizabeth, um, even though you were only with us for one short year, um, please know that we will always consider you part of the Jams family. And we got you a little something. Ta-da! Oh! So they get her a present of a gift card. And I think the joke is here that she didn't get exactly $40. I, I don't know what the joke is. I think there was some in, somewhere. But yeah. So this is part of the film where you see her like real self of being a general dickhead. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's it. So she gets home and her husband's there and he says, we need to take a break. And it... We need to take a break. Goes to the... It's like sort of a fart joke, you know, the, the lowest denominator of comedy, if you see what I mean. I mean, they're good for a quick laugh, if you see what I mean. And I'm talking about sex jokes. In here! Get yourself hard, because I'm going to suck your dick like I'm mad at it. I think they're just... They're, they're kind of like... They're kind of like the fart jokes. But, um, a little bit worse, to be fair. But yeah, that's all I have to say. Is it just me, or is that just a weird walk? I, I don't know what it is. It's just really weird, for me at least. If it, uh, throughout the whole film, everyone walks normally, except for her. I don't, I don't know. We're gonna be across the hall, mates, but I am so... And here we get to see the enemy of the film, also the nice person. It's kind of weird in between, um, but yeah, she's uh, another character. She's like uh, the side character, but more bigger than that, if you see what I mean. She's kind of in the middle. I was so lone wolf last year and so busy planning the wedding. You think I don't see that faint tan line on your finger where your wedding band usually is? This is not my first rodeo, Sarge. Why don't you introduce me to your single co-worker? One o'clock. <laughs> hey, I'm Jason. Hi. So she goes to the bar and she sees a guy and uh, to be fair, you know, it's bad that he went to the bar that he's married and try to dance or whatever. Sexual relations with the girl. And then she, like, she knows. She knows it's, like, not real. So she gets with the other guy and, um, and then he says, I'm only a trainee. And this is where her shallowness shows. The fact that she wouldn't go any for anyone that's like not not top, I suppose. But that doesn't really matter. I mean, I don't really have a problem with it, except for a little bit. Except for I do have a problem with it. Fucking thing that matters. I'm going back to school and becoming an occupational therapist. I want to do something important, just like you. An occupational therapist. 
Do I look like I want to marry a fucking occupational therapist? And here's the part in the film where we get to introduce to her class that she takes for the whole year. And the, the fact that she's such an asshole in the film, it really shows in, in this scene. She doesn't really need to be that bad, because later on in the film it really, really annoys me a little bit. But yeah, anyway, go on. You need something? Anyone seen Stand and Deliver? Show of hands. Are you kidding me? Edward James Olmos? Lou Diamond Phillips? Wow. All right, you and you grab the TV and roll it up front. We're watching a movie on the first day? I think it's awesome. You rock. Oh. Hi there. You look like Losty McLosterson. I know, right? Can you tell me where room 107 is? I'll do you one better. I'll take you there. First of all, I want to say that's not proper working attire, so I don't, I don't think they would allow her in school. And here's the part where I was complaining about earlier, about her being a horrible person. She seems like she can do it naturally and more easily when she's with him anyway, so what's the point? Why she just do it throughout the whole film? I don't get why that's like a character thing, because in the end, oh, you'll see. Ms. Lacoutre. Shut up. <laughs> So, did you and your wife just move to town? I'm not married. I actually just got out of a relationship. Catherine. Yeah. It's been a year. She's still the wallpaper on my phone. She has such a big heart. Looks like... enormous. This is the part where she goes to a place to get um, boob implants. Um, I can't show you that, of course. But the money. She doesn't have enough money. To, um, to pay for it. She starts ringing up around town, popping tires for some reason. I, I don't know who, like, whose tires are there? I don't know. Maybe you can post it in the comments, but I don't know whose tires are there. I think it's her ex-boyfriend. Money for surgery. Really? Nothing? I'm rooming with a guy I met on Craigslist. All I'm asking you for is $10,000. You owe me for breaking off the engagement. You know how humiliating that was? Holy shit. All right, let's do this. So now we're at the car wash, and this part really confuses me, because uh, she seems to be attracting all the, these guys, but she wants to get um, implants for her breasts. And what's the point? If she can attract all these men, um, maybe just at the car wash, maybe, I don't know, but I don't know, seriously, the car wash is a bit, it's a bit, I don't know, I don't like this scene, I, not all men, I, especially police officers are not just going to be like, oh, fucking tits, look over, um, but yeah, that's all. Ha! Yeah, sorry about that guys, I just added that scene in to show their part of comedy. I know I shouldn't really be judging it, because everyone has a different opinion of comedy, but I still have a problem with that, because there's a bare minimum of where you can find like comedy, where everyone doesn't find it funny. Like if I just say penis, yeah, well, I'm sure some people might laugh, but um, you know what I mean, like, if I just say something, I'm saying now, and this is not comedy, you know what I mean? I, I, it's kind of a touchy subject, but yeah, anyway, go on. So... <laughs> Hola, fellow educators. <laughs> Hi, my name is Elizabeth Halsey. Any questions? Hi, I'm Sasha's mother. I'm a little concerned at the importance you're placing on movies. 
I was just wondering what your plans were for the state test. Listen. Listen, you fucking cunt. You, you don't even know what you're doing, so shut the fuck up, mate. I will shank you in the motherfucking mouth. So don't even talk shit about me, you absolute cretin. You what, mate? I will actually... You as well in the front, mate. You know nothing about this job, all right? So I, I, jobs are good, and you're all faggots, mate. As the Jews say. Please, help yourself to some delicious snacks and drinks in the back. Yeah! Class dismissed. Excuse me, Miss Halsey. Hi, I'm Morgan's dad. Who the fuck's Morgan? Morgan? Great kid. So precocious. I just wish Morgan's grades would reflect it. If I know Morgan, and I think I do, uh, Morgan will get there. Listen, I'm sure you have a full plate, along with a rocking hot body, but uh, if you could just keep an eye on Morgan, my wife and I would really appreciate it. For supplies and... So basically, she just goes around the class, I'm um, asking for money from the parents, and then she said that in return she give a uh, she give them like a, a helping hand with their child, like as a grade stand. So yeah, I had to skip this part out because it was so boring. But they had a ball, and uh, the guy said that he likes Amy, so now she's she's trying to like ruin their relationship. And uh, yeah, you see, uh, they skipped to winter for some reason. I, I don't know why, but yeah, I like the winter, and this is where we're starting off. Why are they closed? It's Christmas. Logan, it's Christmas! Hey, you got a lighter? Hey, Miss Halsey, it's me, Garrett, from school. It's Garrett, having a nice- I'm sorry, but the homeless guy there is just, I don't know, it's really creepy to me when they're just talking. I don't know, and she's like, yeah, I'm smoking weed all day, I need a lighter. And yeah, stuff like that. Miss Halsey, would you like to come and spend Christmas with us? Oh, hell no! <laughs> So then she goes to their house for Christmas, and the guy, the little kid, does a poem, and it's about a girl in school, which she's really popular, and basically the teacher's saying, you never get with her, you fucking faggot mate, fuck you, and uh, such things as that, so I'm just going to skip over it, so yeah. Can I just say guys, sorry for uh, talking too much in this review, Jesus, but... Uh, I'm pretty sure they check out the classrooms like once in a while, so I don't know how she can have so many DVDs and like TV shows or whatever there are films on. I just don't get it. Hey, welcome back. Ooh. Bunch of us are going out tonight to see Period Five play. Do you want to come? Period Five? Yeah, the teacher band. <laughs> or they get shot in the face. Hey. So they go there and uh, this, the person sings a song and here we are, so the guy's going to sing a song. The actual singer in real life he is, so I'm hoping for big stuff here boy, big stuff. There was a girl I met some time ago, simpatico. I don't know if it's me but I find this song very cringy and just in the middle of it, it's, it's uh, to be fair, I think it's alright. It's like a comedy. It's supposed to be one one of those songs that's comedy, but I think it's alright for that that standards, if you see what I mean. Uh, but they have to throw in a porn comment in there, which is a bit a bit shameful, right there, boy. Just zooming in on them, some some breasts. Um, but yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a, that's the way the film is at the moment. So go on. Ask me how much I feel. I'll say. A lot ago, there could never in the world be too much. Before I met you, I to shit Fuck! What, is it me? No, I, I mean, is there something wrong with me? So yeah, they get into the car, and at this side fucking, I don't even know who she is, she's a side character. Just get rid of her. Oh, we'll have to do this again, aren't we? So she was in, um, Inside Out. The Office, better, and the only other one is Bad Teacher. That's it. That's literally all she was in. It's the highest scoring class. Gets a bonus. How much? Fifty-seven hundred dollars. So also why they're in the car. The side character says, "Who the class that gets the best grades, or the teacher will get a raise of five million, something like that." So the 
she, she the character in the film the teacher she says oh mate well I'm gonna I'm gonna make my uh, students better by um, by m making them do more work see somehow it doesn't work because she has to do it from the start like you don't you don't just milk a cow in halfway through the season and expect to get the same amount if you did the first like if you started at the season first season so um if that made any sense I feel like I messed up my words up anyway who cares I'm gonna I'm gonna put this in I right, make I'm gonna make sure I put this in all right see you in a minute Atticus Finch is a good lawyer because he's a good person who's a lawyer stupid point misspelled all around me are familiar faces worn out places worn out faces is this english english motherfucker do you speak it i'm sorry but how the hell does she how how is she a teacher i don't get how she's a teacher she's shown nothing that she's a teacher she, she put on some films and she can't be talking about fucking english mate because you don't even do any of it you, you piece of shit. don't mean you but we're working really hard you're not working hard enough i need results class dismissed Right, I just want to say, at this part in, in the film, I was like, oh, so it, I'm pretty sure this must be over soon. It seems to be getting to the end of the year, although it doesn't make any sense. The times of the year, it, it doesn't go in a year. It fucking goes in 16 years, this film that goes over. It's ridiculous. Anyway, um, the, in this part of the film, she basically tries to go and steal the test so that she can teach the students the actual test for the year by dressing up as a a news agent I mean I don't I'm pretty sure he would ch have to check him out first before he even don't know although it's only puny school so I, I don't think so actually so she tries to get to the paper and she does it the only way how and this this is a film where it really gets funny guess what's next guess what's next guys <laughs> more sex jokes <laughs> this is filled with them Jesus try a bit of other comedy you faggots mate you fucking so this is part of the film where she drugs him um, with this drug she got from the shops, uh, the gym, and I quote this by the way, the side effects, uh, some other things, some things, I'll put the clip in right now. What are the side effects? Mm -hmm. Diarrhea, heart palpitations, nothing major. Uh, just don't take it during the day, you'll be out like a light. So knowing the side effects of the drug, what, it's daytime, so what, why, okay, so why is he still alive? Why is he still awake? I have no idea. You tell me, please, 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 please. I just got my shoes. Oh, Carl. I want to fuck you against the desk. I want to fuck you against the desk. Carl, I'm going to need you to pass the fuck out. Mama, I am going to rock your... Hello, titties. So she manages stealing the paper. It skips a whole month. I'm sorry about that. Well, no, I'm not. I want you to get through this film as fast as you possibly can. Please, please do that for me. And uh, they uh, go into a ceremony for the best class of the year. So go on. Funny. Huh. I have here. I have here the results of the estate exam, and I'm happy to announce that the. John Adams Middle School, that's us, scored in the top 5% of the whole state. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Yeah, boy. Yeah, we did it. Yeah, we on top. Ooh. Elizabeth Halsey. Well done. So basically afterwards, um, Amy shoots fires. If you don't know who Amy is, Amy's the redhead in the film. She was in, um, I said that she was in, um, 40 year old version. I can't remember the name of the film now, but you know what I mean. And yeah, that's Amy. And, uh, she was like, pew, 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 shoot fires. Year that you, you would get the bonus? Oh, I, I would have said to whomever it was, 
No way. <gasps> Absolutely not. And now, here we are. We should go out and celebrate. Your treat? Yeah, unfortunately, Elizabeth, Scott and I have to go over the itinerary for the Springfield trip. Uh -huh. Yeah, for the chaperones, we're going together. We're dating, so it'll also be romantic. How fun. Yeah. You're not seeing anyone now, right? Got my eye on someone, but he's dating a major cunt. Right, so what happened was Elizabeth, that's the main character of the film you didn't know. She, her name doesn't really come up much in the film, although I cut some most of it out. So I mean you can you can tell anywhere, I couldn't tell, I had to look it up quick. Anyway, she puts some stuff on the some disease or something on the uh, on an apple and Amy eats it and puts it on her face and yeah, that's why she's not going on the school trip and it got someone on her face. So basically Amy, she can't get the door open, so what she do, she has the smartest idea ever, boy! She trades her, her desk, for this fucking piece of shit. Are you actually ma- oh, they, I, I swear, like, people in film, they make them so retarded, I, I, what is it? I don't know. Gosh, I never lose my keys. Such a ding -a Change it back. Well, I don't get why you wouldn't. It's easy. You, you do. I mean, it comes for half a year, like five minutes in this fucking film, like a year now. And she, she didn't change it back. And that's a big part in the fucking next part, boy. If you tell me. Do not give her a copy of the state test. No, no, no. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. So basically, now Amy goes to the boss, like, fam. She, she, she's been stealing your shit, fam. Been cheating and stuff. Does not deserve that prize money. She's got some weird stuff on her face. Je uh, Jesus, man. It's really creepy. Looks like two girls, one cup just went over there. Jesus, man. Fruit roll up. You know, when President Lincoln abolished slavery, it was not a popular opinion. Hmm. God, I just hate slavery so, so much. I don't get why he hates slavery so much. I like, don't get me wrong, slavery's pretty damn bad. One would be around there when that was around, but he's—I he, don't know what it is. He's just a dickhead. I, I seriously don't know what it is. I just don't like the character. And where what's coming up, mate? He—he he is the dog bollocks in the minute, though. I'll—I'll I'll tell you what. Well, sharks can tear families apart, but they're also so majestic. They are beautiful creatures, but they're also so ferocious. So ferocious. One of nature's cruel jokes, I guess. Okay. Thank you, Elizabeth, for listening. Scott, I want you to know you can talk to me about anything. Before I start this again, be warned. You're about to watch some grade A porn right here, boys. D don't get scared, all right? I will play the whole clip through. It's uh, it's not it's not pornographic, and I'm it's not it's not copyright either. So just be warned, all right? This is some good ass shit right here. Uh, 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 mm, uh, uh. Your jeans feel so good against my jeans. Totally. Your body feels so good. Ooh, I need some water. If you don't know what happened, um, she ringed Amy, 
and I'm guessing she's leaving a voice message to Amy saying that they're having sex. Um, I, uh, just, just listen. All right, this is this is the only part where I, I really thought this was funny. I'll give him this. I thought it was funny to be fair. Me too. I'm close. Don't move. Here I go. Almost. Wait for it. Really close. Ready? Mm, yeah. Just stop talking. Oh, yeah. Almost there. Yeah, baby! <laughs> That was great. So yeah, that wraps that scene up, guys. And uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Mate, it's so funny. I thought it was alright, to be fair. But uh, I don't know, it was just a bit weird for me. But um, next scene, basically the bitch gets... Amy gets the call. The missing call, whatever you call it. And she's like, oh, oh my dear lord. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to skip that. So now we come to this fucking kid doing his goddamn speech. I'm gonna let it go because this is where the cringe factor comes in. Uh, so w just watch it. It's really oh my god. Just just watch it. A great man always has the courage to say what is in his heart. Yeah. I love Chase Ruben Rossi. Woohoo! Yeah! Woo! Great. Who would like to see Mary Todd churn butter? Churn butter. I love you, Chase. I want to yell it from the mountaintops. And even though you pretty much stopped talking to me in fifth grade, I don't care. I remember the Chase that wrote me a card when my dad was overweight and had to go to the hospital because of his heart. And a year later, when he left my mom and moved in with his trainer, you wrote me another card. What happened to us? Remember, in the second grade when we had a sleepover and you wet the bed and, and you were so embarrassed and you made me promise never to tell anyone? Well, I never have and I never will. So there it is. My heart on a sleeve. Don't let me leave. Oh, please don't. Always believe. Gross. And this is where I have to give the movie props. Uh, for actually doing real life stuff, because a lot of films they're just like, yeah, that's how it works. Give a massive speech, and then she managed going out of him. Uh, but this film doesn't do that. It's uh, it's it's quite honest with that. So I I I'll give it props for that. I, I I like that part. So yeah, boy. No, no, I'm not going back. Come on, just just leave me alone. So now the teacher just chases a little kid. I don't know why? I have no idea. Because he, he ran away. He was like, I'm not going back again. So now she's chasing him, and then they go to the barn, and then and then she gives him his bra because he, he, she feels bad for him that sh he done that massive speech, and he's like, "Bro, you what, Sam?" So now Amy fucking comes back, like, "How dare you? I saw sort of heard the voice message, and the fact that she found stuff in her desk." Remember that she, 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 she would have put it back, of course. You know, no one's that stupid. No one, they, let's just remember that. No one's that stupid, alright? Just remember that. So remember that scene earlier, guys, when um, the girl drugged the guy, th this geezer, to, uh, to, to give him the, uh, the, the paper for the test. Now, apparently, she took pictures of him in a, you'll see the pictures, uh, in a, some, some wear, but I don't know, I'm probably thinking it's her camera, but now, now she's gonna blackmail him with those pictures to like not, not, uh, press charges, cause you remember the, the, Amy, Amy went to him saying, oh, uh, what happened, and she, and he was like, oh, th yeah, and no, I remember this reporter, because she, she disguised herself, but yeah, go on. She did sometimes. This is very, very bad, Elizabeth. Incredibly very bad, Elizabeth. Amy, that doesn't you said sound like observing. Speak. Bring him in. So now here's where the trouble comes in. He says, nah, that wasn't me. That that was my fault. I, I didn't see anything. 
what I said was wrong because she has the pictures. Now, why did he just say, oh, she took the fucking pictures of me while she when she drugged me? And yeah, that would be fine, wouldn't it? I, d I don't get why that why, why that wouldn't be fine as evidence against her to be like, fam, that's even double trouble, son. So now Amy's like, she has drugs. And remember, she changed her desk around because no one's that stupid to put it back. Remember, no one's that stupid to put it back. Oh, but no, 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 no. You know, I think I, I think I might just keep it there. Even though she knows that she has her desk and she's like, hmm. She has strong. Mm. She seemed to be strong enough to put it, put it into hers. And all that time that she spent, wouldn't she need like her teaching stuff from the desk? So why, how, like, how is she even getting that? It's weird. It's very, it's very strange. That is not mine. My desk, it's hers. Oh, oh, so now she remembers. Now she remembers. Oh my god. If you knew this whole time, this isn't even my desk. What'd you say? What the hell would you say, man? The hell's wrong with you? Alright, so now uh, there is a leaving service because this is the end of the year, apparently. Again, Jesus. And uh, Amy's like leaving now, so she's doing like a speech. I uh, don't it's not really important. She just says, oh, it's been glad being here. And then the guy's like, yeah, but, you, you know, now Amy's gone. Me, me and you can try it. And then you can you can see what happens, right? Elizabeth. Here. Some of your book. So yeah, apparently this is the obvious love dress of the film. Oh, of course. I didn't even know this, man. What the hell? Uh, but yeah, they basically were like, oh man, hey, come on. Yeah, let's do this. You never get, you never get with me, she says. And he's like, my real girlfriend. And she's like, oh my god, no, why? And then he's, he's bullshitting. But anyway, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it to be fair. But there's, I think there's a little bit more. So yeah. Any other job in the entire world? You know, the two of us, it's never gonna happen. Clearly. I mean, how would that even work? I mean, where do you even live? You, you in some weird apartment with some creepy roommate? No, my creepy roommate moved out, so now it's just just me and the dogs. Mm. How many dogs do you have? Four. Four dogs. Yeah. Four Dobermans. Any family money? Yeah, you bet. We're talking like three figures. Almost 700 bucks. So basically, if I was going to go out with you, I would be making the conscious choice to be dating a gym teacher who lives in a shack with four dogs. I prefer to think of it as two people with amazing bodies sharing those bodies with each other. Giving each other the gift of these bodies. Mm. Anyway, uh, actually, none of this really matters. Um, Sorry. Wow, guys, that's a film then. Damn, that was a Bethesda. See what I did there? <laughs> I don't know. See what I did there? But wow, it's to be fair, it's not a, it's not a poorly written film. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. I say the jokes, they, they are good for what they were trying, like they what they were trying to push out. If you see what I mean, and the actors, I, I think they're good actors. To be fair, the acting was alright, but it's just. The storyline doesn't really make sense. I mean, she's trying to get bigger. Um, she's trying to get breast implants, saving up for that. But she can get men whenever she wants. So that doesn't really show off why the story needs to be going on like that. And uh, it's not like the other films I review that, that were reviewed so far. <sighs> Unfriended, a man. Jesus, that was terrible. Um, Cyberbully. Oh, mate, that was. Mate, don't even think about. D you do not deny that's not. That's not good, mate. That is good. I think that is good. They both got copyrighted, by the way. Jeez, I know. But yeah, it's just it's all it's it's all right. And also the the the, the scenes they chose because some like unfriended they have one like one scene throughout the whole thing. But this one they kind of like, it's split it up 
like they had different scenes, so it didn't really make the st like what you're seeing boring. I mean, it's still though, I didn't like it anyway. I'll give it uh, what, what about three out of ten? Cause uh, yeah, I gave it three out of ten. That's all right, I think. But yeah, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, review. Again, I hope I don't get copyright on this one as well. I hope I don't at least. But yeah, guys, if I do, I'll make a video on it. Um, but yeah, guys, I'll uh, check out my other reviews. I'll leave them here and here. Uh, I'll, hopefully, I'll put them up. I will, I will. Don't worry about it. So yeah, guys, I'll speak to you later. Bye bye.